Sometimes you can hear a woman's voice coming from the manor. It's okay. Used to live there a long time ago. A woman. Okay, nice. Anyways, hi everyone. Welcome back. No, it's not. Uh, let's go ahead and grab this quest. Lament, lament of the damned. Oh, is this going to be the voice? Yeah, actually, it says it right there. Woman in the manor. I was actually just about to start my ep the episode and they started talking about like a ghostly woman. <laughs> ghostly woman. Uh, I think I know what you're referring to, maybe. But back again, are we? What is it this time? That would be a Vincent quest. Want to know about the Wu Tang fighters? Well, they're gone now. Or what was left of them. Some Shinra troopers helped dispose of their remains. How they got in, however, remains unclear. But that's for someone else to figure out. We're still struggling with the loss of Mr. Murasaki. Alright, I'm Mr. Murasaki now. I'm not sure if you knew that. Shinra's created a refuge for those suffering from Mako poisoning. Here they can relax and recover in their own time. Though recently, some have up and left without a word. Which is frankly beyond me. Uh, Shinra Manor? I'm the manager of the manor only on paper. I know next to nothing about it. Records indicate it was built as a research facility, on land borrowed from the village back in Shinra's early days. Oh, I guess the it could. No, the she facility, however, was apparently quite sensitive. Wasn't there, much right? All the details have been redacted. No, really that that was definitely uh, the Vincent-related one. Bye. By the way, you spent an awful long time inside Shinra Manor. What were you doing in Playing there? Playing D&D with Vincent. We needed to use the terminal. That's all, was it? Why do you ask? Well, you see, ever since your visit, I've been hearing this strange voice. A woman's coming from inside. I know this sounds crazy, but you don't think it's haunted? I mean, if any place is haunted, it's that place. Besides. You're the manager. Ain't it your job to investigate? That in the train yard. No, I don't have the clearance to set even one foot inside. Regardless, I know what I heard. It wasn't just the wind rustling through the trees at night. Someone was weeping. Almost musically. It sounded like a woman wailing. <laughs> Good impression. For real? <laughs> I'm afraid so. And given that I didn't hear a thing until you went inside, it's clear there's a connection. Why not take some responsibility and go investigate for me? I think I'm oh, that's right. You're horrified of ghosts. Hey. <laughs> Come on. I'm sure it's nothing serious. That's right. That was part of the rebake stuff. Uh, all right, well, I guess we'll go check. We can just teleport there, so. Yeah, uh, I don't know. It's either something not related at all to uh, what I'm thinking about, or it's related and Vincent's going to pop up in here, but very unlikely. I don't know. I say very unlikely, but I don't fucking know. He's just not following us around, but I guess he could be, like, sulking in the shadows over there or something. Could have ran out of bullets. That's why he's not helping. <laughs> well, I don't hear a damn thing. So, case closed. Where's Tifa? No need for us to overstay our welcome. <laughs> oh, hey, Vincent. It is what I'm thinking of then. Be quiet. Listen. Uh, you hear something I don't? I feel it below us. Well, I don't feel anything. But you know this place better than we do. If you're willing to lead, we'll follow. What do you mean, we? <laughs> scared. Me? Scared? <laughs> I ain't been scared a day in my life. I was even voted bravest buddy back in the day. Of course what? you were. <laughs> what does that mean? Man. This is ridiculous. That guy was convinced there's some kind of ghost in here, but I'm not buying it. 
Yeah, I say we just turn around. Getting cold feet? Of course not. Besides, it wouldn't be our first paranormal encounter like the game. That's true. Actually, yeah, Tifa, that's true. Why weren't you scared then? Huh. What was that? Y'all heard it, right? Loud and clear. Sounds nothing like the gee we know. Then what is it? We'll soon find out. Okay, if you don't know what it is, it's something completely different then. Because you wouldn't know what it would. If it, if it was what I was thinking of, it would definitely be something you would know about. Please. Thank you. Uh, ooh, sub-basement. Vincent, what's the deal with you and Sephiroth? How do you know him? Our bond is unique. I'm to blame in part for the evils he's unleashed. I've had many opportunities to purge him from this world. Unfortunately, I couldn't pull the trigger. Don't beat yourself up. Oh? I don't know if you can kill him. And even if you could, I think he'd stick with you. Somehow. <laughs> Quite the rosy outlook. I mean, you're not wrong. Though... Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if you can kill this Sephiroth, because I'm not even sure if it's actually really Sephiroth, Sephiroth. You're going to need my key card. It'll grant you access to the lower levels. Okay. Hey, Vincent, why don't you just join my fucking party, please? I don't care if you don't have any skill books or whatever, just, just join. idea whose voice that is like seen any women wandering the manor maybe some gal got stuck in a coffin unlikely a female staffer once lived here but she's long gone then who else could it be do i have to keep repeating myself as i said we'll soon find out This sounds like part of the theme, by the way, the, la, 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 what she's... La, not listening. Yeah, whatever she's doing, it sounds like it's part of the theme song. This floor is where he conducted his combat trials. Oh, fun. His subjects were slaughtered here. Disposed of, never to be mourned. Huh. Now I know you're just screwing with me. Nah, no, he's not screwing with you. For it. No, sir. Alright, so it's not who I'm thinking of. Because technically he did just mention her. Keep moving. The simulator is up ahead. Can't proceed further until we complete the trial. Best of luck. You're not gonna help? That's bullshit, Vincent! Specimens. This asshole again? Today is your lucky day. You'll be participating in a series of combat simulations. Fun times. Few are permitted to take part in mine. Be grateful for this honor. Well, without further ado, let us begin. I look forward to analyzing the data gleaned from your deaths. Messy as they'll be. Okay. How would I die in a simulation? But all right. Uh, do I get it? I got a giga chat potion. Okay. Item master material. Cool stuff. Defeat enemies with the time limit. Just one round each. Sounds fun. Oh, these guys. Well, they're different, actually. Are you different? You are assessed, so no, you're not different. Ah, you are fucking dodging all my attacks, though, which is actually just bullshit and against the law. Alright, you know what? There we go, and... Kill! Yeah. <laughs> 
Eva leveled up. Good job, Diva. We had we had way too much time for that. So we need to do all of them. I think it's fine. It's better than walking around a goddamn desert with looking for our vibrations. Yuffie, what was wrong with your leg there a second ago? Excellent. That performance bodes well for the next trial. It looked like it was glitching out. Uh, oh yeah, dry ether. I feel like we haven't gotten that many of those, but at the same time, I haven't really used any. Hello, what the fuck are you? I've apparently assessed you. Not gonna lie. I don't remember you. Well, that was not where I was aiming, Cloud. So thanks for that. Oh, the this thing. I remember this thing. Yeah, when we fought with... Oh, yeah, I must have fought that shit with Kate Sith earlier then. Dude, these guys were fucking annoying. Lightning? Why? Why do you have fire? Look at the leg real fast. Oh, uh, no, I think it's just the frame rate of her jump. What a fascinating outcome. Now then, on to the next. Uh, comparable special one, missed mega potion. Okay, well, uh, conditions. Stagger enemies three times. Uh, okay. Well, hopefully they're very easily staggerable then. Uh, I actually think we should be able to do that then. Okay, let's focus on that. And then Fyra. Ow. Yeah, so as long as we don't kill them too fastly, these ones should definitely be... Well, that's rude. No escape. What are you weak to? No, it's still fire. All right, can you stop it? Thank you. Go. So he's as a cool slow effect. Really wish though you didn't fuck me there. I won't give up. Let's so that's one. This ends here. We just need to stagger these guys now. How? Hitting them with powerful offensive abilities while they are casting will pressure them. Evading onslaught will pressure them also. Let's go. Oops. You're dead. It don't. Don't kill him. Just attack. Just attack. Just attack. We're gonna kill this one. Did you just kill that one? All done. A most disappointing conclusion. Well, will you give up or will you try again? Oh, okay. So maybe I just beat the fuck out of Yin and Yang. Or I just do basic attacks. Just do basic attacks on the necrotic dudes and eventually I'll die 
but also you'll be stunned. Alright. Uh, cool beans. I'm gonna need to heal. Bye. I'm gonna need to heal. Is Tifa, I'm gonna need you to heal me. Did I just cut your fucking head off? Oh, fucking... Hell, I just killed one. Oh, no, we, we staggered him before he died. Oh, good, 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 good. Let's do this. No more playing nice. Um... Do we have the focus? Focus strike. Focus strike. You don't have it. You have focus strike though. Focus thrust. Wow, that did nothing. That did fucking legitimately nothing. Well, we might be able to pressure uh, stagger this guy again. Yeah! Okay, there we go. Alright, that's good? That's great! And we're still good on the time. Alright. Sl slightly annoying. But good thing I remember focus. I was very surprised when I cut off that guy's head. Good thing that other dude that I killed when I did that counted as a stagger, because uh, I, I was going to be very pissed. Uh, stagger enemies twice. Sure. So, right. Why is this different? Don't overdo it. I'm your one-stop club right now. Uh, honestly, don't know. Ow. Uh, spells, Thundara on that guy. Oh, you reflect. You're an ass. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm dead. August? That's really actually good. <laughs> Don't overdo it. Hang back. Gotcha. How does that not count as that? Alright, whatever, that's fine. Come on, come on. Stop beginning awakening, please. Let's do this. Okay, that's fine. Uh, Tifa, I'm gonna need you to revive Yuffie just in case. Tifa, you have revive on you, right? You do! Okay. And then you should be... Staggered. All right, cool. Why are you technically stronger or the f why? This is a million times easier than the last one. Yes, I know Yuffie died, but I cast magic on the scale thing and it reflected back at me and then he fucked me up at the same time. That was substantially easier than the other one. Cool. Marvelous! You've cleared every trial! <laughs> I've created masterpieces yet again, I see. Without further ado, my dear specimens, let's proceed to Act Two. Is there gonna be more?
Let's go. Hey, maybe help next time. I like how you were standing there like you were part of the party. You mentioned some gal used to work here, but what exactly did she do? Whatever the good professor bade her, as their bodyguard, I was never made privy to the details of their research. Well, knowing that sick freak, I doubt he was up to anything good. And I bet that gal wasn't much better than him either. That's not true. Oof. Did I touch a nerve? A little bit. Just stay quiet. I have to concentrate. All right. I do wish they just added him instead to the party. Like, I, I get it. I know. But still, it's like... He's here. He has a gun. You at least have one level of limit break for him. You don't have to give him anything else. As far as I'm concerned. You know, deep down, I knew you'd make it this far. Of course, not every participant does. Only the finest, the elite among you, survive. You should be very proud. I, for one, am delighted by your success. Where are you off to? To shut him up. As a token of my appreciation, I've prepared for you a gift. Hello. That's what we've all been hearing? You gotta be kidding me. Here it is, your final trial. You must face this feat in combat and emerge triumphant or die. Vincent like shut down the, <laughs> the AI. Good. Never again. Alright, uh. So, from the front, let's assess the situation. Uh, what the hell's your name? Drana Barga? Sure. Weak to ice. Cool. Let's get some, uh. Lazaras then out. But you have anything special? Purpose physical attacks from the rear, inflicting enough damage during subdue will pressure it. Alright, cool. Alright, Blizzara! Okay. Honestly, I was kind of, uh. Kind of expecting things to have to go a little better than that. At least we have that magic. I'm assuming I know Tifa, we're trying. Anguish screams. Always a good skill name. Thank you, Tifa. Okay, I was gonna say, I'm legitimately shocked that that fucking did nothing to you. This should kill you. Guess this means we busted our ghost. Did it in it, in it. Tainted by Hojo's touch, no doubt. Why the singing, though? An outlet for stress, perhaps. An expression of displeasure. Despite their appearance, some fiends are capable of complex thinking and experiencing emotions. <laughs> right. Monsters got feelings. I mean, why not? Some of them do. I know we ought to have mercy for all life, but you gotta draw the line somewhere. Yeah, on the ones that attack In people. Case, <laughs> there you go. There's the line. Don't stay too long. Uh, Hojo there has added new tests to trials to micro facility combat. Okay. Uh, any new quests? Yeah, I mean, here's the thing. If the line is, even if a monster or whatever is sentient or have emotions or complex, if they're going around just aimlessly murdering people or destroying like other wildlife for just no reason, there's the line, right? <laughs> there's your line. Are, they, are those guys still around? The blue collared comedy tour people? 
I haven't heard. They got like really popular for a few years and then just kind of disappeared. Astral Remnants, Turbo Ether. Um. Hmm. Why is this one red? It says advanced. Do I need Astral Remnants for anything? I feel like I need Astral Remnants or something, and I don't know what. This. I already have Astral Remnants. Oh, I can make this. There we go. Now I just need two more Giga Chad potions, and then we're good. Well. Actually, yeah, then we're good. I'm assuming we're going to get another chip soon, then. I mean... I don't really care. I guess I can come back later if need be. Uh, there's no more quest here. So... Corel's the only place left to go. Are both quests in Cosmo Canyon? Uh, yeah. All right, you know what? I'm going to definitely heal up, though, before I do that. And I'll meet you guys at Golden Saucer. All right, we are heading towards the Golden Saucer. We are here. Should split up to look for Dio. Will do. If I catch you goofing off, so help me out. Uh, <laughs> uh, Cloud, you got a minute? There's something I failed to mention about the Temple of the Ancients. You might call it a legend or a warning. Uh huh. You see, no one who goes into the temple ever comes out again. No one. And I'm wondering if you really want to take everyone to a place like that. You said it yourself. It's just a legend. Yeah, we live in a JRPG world, though, I, so it's true. Let's focus <laughs> on finding Dio and the Keystone for now. Fast travel unavailable. All right. Well, at least we got most of the hey there, <laughs> most of the the quests done. Uh, to so wait, hold up. There. Or do we need to go somewhere else? Uh, let's see. Uh, so nothing's marked. I know there's a lot of new stuff available. Uh... I'm gonna try the battle square first, because, um... Wasn't that where he was in the original, right? There was like a an amusement thing there. Oh, Aerith is right there. Check it out, Cloud. Oh God! Can you believe this? Corneo? The Dawn outstayed his welcome in Midgar and decided to set up shop in the saucer. Great timing, eh? Interesting. There's an event being held at the Musclehead Coliseum tomorrow. If there's a dress rehearsal today, Dio might be there. We should check it out. Okay. Here is Inkling. All right. One second, I gotta check this stuff out first. Everything new? Uh, replicant robe. A material used in creation of an enhanced carbon. Co okay. I feel like I probably want that, right? 700 though. Gilded tentacle. Enhanced marble orb. Oh, hey, we can get a Giga Chad potion here. My god. All right. So, you do have some new stuff. They're just very expensive. Gill up? Uh, I don't really need that. 
All right. Well, shit. I should get this, but maybe I will play some mini games later or spend uh, some GP on that stuff. Yeah, he's just standing there, menacingly. He doesn't look quite right. He looks dirty. Oh, he got his ass kicked. Well, if it isn't our friend. Did Rude do this to you? You're looking hale and hearty. What happened to you? I made a painful discovery. That the Turks are stronger than they look. You, sir, should know better. You're no spring chicken. What are you thumbs upping me for? <laughs> Whatever happened to that wee keystone thingy? We need to get our hands on it. Hmm. It was part of your collection, last we heard. Hmm. It was, yes. And in fact, still is. Point of order. My ancestors owned it. Don't you think that makes me its rightful owner? Hmm. A cetera, are you? That, my dear, is a bold claim. <laughs> it's like no way of proving it either. I'm just taking her word on it. But still, who am I to dispute your heritage? You may, of course, have the keystone. That is, on one condition. You must take part in our exclusive event, the fight for naming rights. Dio's champions versus the Corneo family. Should my team fall to those rogues, the gold saucer will become Corneo land. <laughs> Flex it out. Training hard and getting those gains. What's up, party people? Oh, these guys. This is why we kill them. But look at me. I can barely lift a finger. And yeah, Rude actually kicked your ass, apparently. Life, when you came along. Tis fate. Nay, divine intervention. What say you? Will you be my champions and go to war against Don Corneo? I'll do it. I'll fight. I like fighting. We win, we get the keystone. Right? As agreed, you have my word. Then we're in. Then we have ourselves a deal. <laughs> Naturally, I want you in peak physical condition for the big bout, so please use my hotel to rest up. Great. I'll jog on ahead and tell the others then. All right, I'm going to go maybe do side quests. Well, I came here. Fast travel is available. The fate of the Prepare for tomorrow. All right, cool. So Don't let me we go to the hotel when we want to advance the, the story. We're not going to do that ever. No. <laughs> This is where the game ends. Uh, where are we going for this? Bailey's requests. And then... Where is this? Thank you. That does not help me at all. Oh, down here? Ah! Uh, okay. Sure. And then what about this one? Where is this? Wow, that doesn't help me at all. We're chocobo races, right? Oh, right, Billy. Uh, sure, we'll go check that out. We've arrived at your destination. Now we have. Hey, Billy. Get out of the way, kids. Got some news. Apparently, the powers that be like what we have to offer. Gave us permission to race in the gold cup. That doesn't make any sense. I had so one I race. You up as soon as I could. After all, you're the best jockey I know. The cup is three races, and you get points based on where you place in each. Bird with the most at the end wins. But the races are nothing like you've ever seen before. Gotta be on the ball if you want to take the top spot. 
Anyway, when you're ready to face off against the finest riders this side of the continent, head on over to registration. I mean... It sounds like it's gonna fucking the suck, to be quite honest. <laughs> Uh, the Gold Cup is now available to gold ranked jockeys. The pinnacle of chocobo racing is is run over three legs, and the jockey with the most total points after all three takes home the uh, takes home the cup. Try to decimate the uh, competition by placing first in all three races. We'll earn you a flawless victory. Did you not? Did you not say I could do this? Uh, so I have to win the other ones first. Wait. What do you mean? It says... You just said I was a gold rank jockey, though. And I know I gave you shit about how that doesn't make any sense. I had one race. All right. You know, first time maiden race wins. Okay. We're all looking forward to your next. Bye. <laughs> Uh, all right, let's let's try down here. How do I how do I fast travel down here here? There is a fast travel is there not down here? Is there no fast travel like how do I get down there? Here yeah Probably I don't know what's the dust bowl? Here, okay. The uh, Chocobo races, Chronos? Yeah, Chocobo races. I'll, uh... We'll get around to that at some point. And what's this one? Uh, everyone's favorite Dust Bowl asshole is throwing a party and there's a prize up for grabs. Sand and circuses. Uh, down here? Oh, I guess I could have just went there, huh? Oh, shut up, Gilgamesh. Hello. Hey, remember me? You're that guy from Corneos. Oh, yeah. You get your shit rocked, too, apparently. You look like you've been through hell. Got wind my girl might be out this way. Had to follow up. See if there was truth to it. Uh, how's a wall market holding up? Well, you saw. After the plate fell, the trio opened the place to refugees. The town tripled in size. Man, if you thought it was lively before. Unfortunately, when Corneo pulled up stakes, he took all that Shinra money with him. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. Wall Market's days are numbered. Madame M's trying to work her magic, but I don't know. Uh, any news on Sector 7? Other than that, it's destroyed. Sector 7's still a mess. Probably gonna stay that way for a while. Not really Express something you can just easily fix. The then out of the blue, the company decides it needs a new president. It seems pretty clear Shinra doesn't give a shit about Sector 7. Undercity especially, but that shouldn't come as a surprise. The people have stepped up though, clearing the rubble, helping the injured, locating the missing. Uh, what happened to your girl? In case I didn't tell you, her name didn't Mara. she wasn't didn't Corneo like sell her or kill her or something like that? Market, or she escaped from him? Around. Hoped one of her friends might know something. Shouldn't have bothered. Even if they did have info, they're not dumb. They wouldn't dare blab to a former Corneo crummy. But I was able to find out she wasn't in Midgar anymore. And ever since then, I've been moving from town to town, looking for leads. All right. 
So the thing is, Gus is running a special competition, and a woman is the prize. Word around the Dust Bowl is she fled here. Why didn't we kill these guys earlier? It's just a hunch, but I think she might be who I'm looking for. She's a prize? That's sick. Gus is a real piece of shit, to put it mildly. You do that? <laughs> Monsters did. Trying to gain levels? Gus is calling it a party, but it's an excuse to see blood. Lots of it. He pits people against fiends, and his money's on the ladder. I lost. So this is where you guys come in. Join the party, win, and free that woman. Hmm. Still a merc, aren't you? No reason not to. True. Please. I mean, yeah, we're gonna do it. But then we'll kill everyone here. <laughs> Make sure this shit doesn't happen again. So you know, need a team of five to sign up. In the ring, though, it's one on one. <laughs> and humans only, I'm afraid. <laughs> I'm counting on you. And so is the woman. If anyone can put Gus in his place, it's Wall Market's reigning champs. Well, we have a team of five for sure. Join Gus's party. This place ain't for yeah, really? Probably should just fucking kill these people. Oh, it's down in the well, right? You're right. I remember. Yeah, that's where the arena was. Where we, uh, fought Test Zero. Hello? I have a team of five. Let me through. Uh, yeah. Uh, the loveliest of ladies. Okay. The ninja versus winged ones. Flower girl versus- oh, fuck. Alright, well... We can clearly- I gotta play as Aerith? I mean, she'll be fine. This is it, folks. It's not one-on-one, on one, though, clearly. It's one-on-two. Of untold proportions. Let the shit hit the fan. Woo! Man, this is gonna suck, isn't it? We're probably not doing all these today, then. Yeah, I thought it was one-on-one. -on -one. What was your name, Leslie? Okay, maybe this is gonna suck more than I was hoping. You guys are obsessed, yeah. Do not put the gravitation charge, please. Do this. There we go. And do this again. More wind! God fucking damn it, Yuffie. You are amazing. Yeah, it's not gonna go this swimmingly with fucking air, if I can tell you that. Hope you learned your lesson. Pretty good though, right? Uh, I gotta set her up. I don't have items cannot be used, that's fine. You chicken? Is that your deal? No, I just gotta fucking set up air because she's not set up. And that's gonna be next time though. Thanks for watching. I'll see y'all then. Bye.